One of our objectives, one of our major overarching objectives in uh, pre-calculus is to be able to solve equations that involve trig. Look at this equation right here. Cosine of x squared minus 2.2 cosine of x minus 0.48 is equal to 0. Okay, If you let u be equal to the cosine of x, just think of that for a minute, then that equation looks like a u squared minus a 2.2 u minus a 0 0.48 is equal to 0. So that's a quadratic equation and we should be able to solve that quadratic equation. You should have the quadratic equation memorized by now. It says that if a u squared plus b u plus c is equal to 0, then u is equal to a minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a, which is just 1, times c, in this case, which is a minus 1, that's why that becomes a plus, all over 2. Okay, if you need help with the quadratic equation, go to Khan Academy and look up quadratic equation and, and uh, get some work there. So this quadratic e equation gives us two answers. One when we're using the plus and another one when we're using the minus. When it's plus, do your calculation with your calculator and discover that that's 2.4. When it's a minus, we get u is equal to a, a negative 0.2. But now remember that u is really the cosine of x. So this u is equal to 2.4 really means that the cosine of x is equal to 2.4. u is equal to a negative 0.2 means that the cosine of x is equal to a negative 0.2. So now what we need to do is find out what x is in each of these cases. The key ingredient in solving equations anytime is knowing do undo pairs. How do we undo cosine? Well, we arc cosine or inverse cosine uh, to be able to find that. Now, in this case, we discover that, <clears throat> you see, the cosine is always, the cosine of any angle is always a value between minus 1 and 1 the amplitude of the cosine is 1. The answers have to be between minus 1 and 1. There are no x's, so that the cosine is 2.4. So when we find the arc cosine of 2.4, <clears throat> your calculator does something like says that it does not exist or give you some other uh, response to that particular result. On the other hand, there are values of x that make the cosine equal to a negative uh, 0 0.2 and in fact one of those is 1.772154 or now here we've drawn a picture of that <coughs> radian measure of 1.772154 it <coughs> if i took one radius and started wrapping it around this is about one and three quarters radius as it gets over here in the second quadrant and that's true that over here in the second quadrant, if we look at the adjacent, which <coughs> will be uh, negative, divided by the hypotenuse, that could reasonably end up being a negative 0 0.2. So over here in the second quadrant, the cosine is negative. That's uh, giving us some, some right result. Now the problem with the calculator is it only gives you one of the many choices of angles that will give you this result. Notice that the cosine is negative in the, in the second and in the third quadrant. When I ask my computer to tell me what the arc cosine of negative 0.24 was, it told me this first answer, the one that's in the second quadrant. But there's also one here in the third quadrant. It happens to be, it needs to go down the same amount. Uh, these two blue parts need to be the, this, the same. So this uh, lighter brown uh, function, 
uh, a angle that comes around to here is also another answer. So uh, another answer for x is now finding this second value, this second angle, uh, takes a little bit of, of thinking. Here, here's one way to think about it. If we came around to pi and then subtracted that angle, it would tell us what this blue angle is. And we want to have this brown angle, so if we went pi plus that blue angle, then we'd have this brown angle that we're looking for. Okay, see there's my pi minus the, the one part to tell me how much that blue angle is, and then plus another pi, or 2 pi minus that particular. This red angle is a negative 1.772154, so if I went 2 pi and then added that negative amount, then I'd be right back to where I wanted to be. So there's a couple different ways of thinking of that. When we first started this particular problem, I was thinking there's a possibility of four different answers. Two answers because it's a quadratic equation, so I'll get a plus and a minus, and for each of those two answers there should be another another two. In this particular case, however, the cosine of x ended up being a value from the quadratic equation that the x can never have. That becomes an extraneous root. Uh, on the other hand, we did get two answers from the, from the other root from the quadratic equation.